Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today's video is the day of my market plus market prep vlog for you guys. So this market was my market back in September and it was my first ever two day market. It was a Friday afternoon and then a full day on Saturday. So that's what you guys are gonna be seeing throughout this whole video is the prep for what I needed to do before that event and then the actual event itself. Now, as always, I do have a market breakdown video that will be coming out this Friday for you guys as the very next video here on my channel that is from the same market. So if you want to know how things sold, how much I made, what the best sellers were, all of that breakdown that you guys normally get from me, then make sure you check out that video that is coming out this Friday. And this market was a barbecue competition, so it was a little bit different than a typical market. It was not like a pop-up with a bunch of vendors and stuff. It was mainly just food and actually only three retail vendors, me being one of them. So it was a little bit different and I'm excited to share that with you guys as something a little bit different than what I typically share which is of course the pop-up markets that you are used to seeing. And as always for my market vlog style videos, I do have a Google Doc linked below that has everything in my market setup that you guys can find all linked there if you are interested in like my tent or tables, tablecloths, like anything I have in my market setup, you can find there as well. So with that though, we're gonna get on to all the prep I did and then the day of this market. Hi you guys, so I am starting with market prepping now, which it is four days till the market. I'm trying out a middle part, so don't mind the difference. I don't know how I feel about it, so it may or may not be a thing now. I don't know. But anyways, I am finishing up some signage and then I'm gonna go downstairs to the printer to print it out. And then we're going to do some other market prep things. Also, Brendo's walking around so you can hear him, I'm sure. But anyways, I'm doing a few different signage things right now. And like I said, I'm going to print it out after and also do a few other things. So, of course, I'm going to take you guys along. Okay, so here's what my new signage is looking like. Some of the items are new, like, for example, pumpkins and the chickens and chicken nuggets. But some of them I just did different patterns for this season, so the prices are different than they used to be. But anyways, this is the signage. So I'm gonna go ahead and print this out, as well as go downstairs and do a few other prep things that I'm about to show you. Okay, so here is this printed out, and the leftover white that's here I'm gonna use for tagging my items which I'll probably start like tomorrow but right now what I'm going to do is put together this new display I bought which is a cube storage shelf as you can see and the reason I never did any displays like this for markets before is because I thought that I would have to build each individual cube like every single market and I knew that would be a pain so I didn't want to do that but then I saw a video, which I'll link below for you guys, of another crocheter that does markets, and she uses the storage cubes like this, and she zip ties hers together to where they can lay flat when they're in the car or you're not using them, and then you can put them together still at markets easily and not have to do the whole entire thing. So I bought zip ties and the storage thing on Amazon, which I can also link below for you guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this together using her method so that it'll be easy at markets. Which yes, I'm doing this in our kitchen because all my market stuff is being stored in the garage and there's no point in bringing this all the way up to the third floor where my yard room is because this is just gonna go to markets. <laughs>
Okay, here's the current situation and this is what it will look like at markets. I do need to cut some of the long zip ties still and I still have a lot of these cubes left so I'm gonna build it at least one more to the side, maybe two more. I don't know if two more will be too long. Um, I should actually grab a tape measure right now and probably measure because if I do two more off to the side then it would be twice the size it is now. But anyways, you get the idea of what it's going to look like. Alright you guys, so I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and bought two of these 4x6 frames, which is thundering outside right now so don't mind that. Um, but anyways, that is what this chicken nugget and chicken signs are going to go in because I have displays for those that are not a basket like the rest of my items. So because of that they just get a sign next to them. and. And then for the other ones that are going on baskets, I have the baskets here to put the signs on. And I have scissors and tape to go ahead and do all this with. So some of these are old ones that I used before. So I'm going to have to take the sign off and then put the new one on. So here is the two signs for the chicken nuggets and the chickens. And then here's the basket for the pumpkins. And then the axolotls and the baby turtles. Which axolotls and baby turtles are things that I've sold in the past. I just changed the prices. Pumpkins are a new add-on for the upcoming fall season. And then I do have this sign for my pickle jar that is going to go on this jar but it came messed up from Amazon so later tonight or tomorrow at some point I'm gonna do some boiled water on it and see if it'll come out because it's a hard plastic so I'm hoping it will. I tried a hair dryer on it and it didn't fix it. I didn't even like get it hot enough so yeah we'll see um but because of that i'm not putting the pickle jar sign on there yet if it doesn't fix it then i will just keep that part at the back of the display so that it isn't messed up but anyways that is pretty much it 
for now and I don't know what other prep stuff I need to really do. I did get a new tent and last weekend my mom and I like fully set it up for the first time so that we know how it works and then um, we put it back in the bag and everything that it came in. But yeah, other than that, most of my market stuff is going to be the same as it normally is. So I think the next thing you guys will probably see from me is tomorrow or the next day or whenever I decide to put price tags on the individual price tag items, which I did get a price tagging gun. So I will try that out um, for the first time on my products. I don't think I'm going to redo the tags on the ones that already have tags. But for the new ones that I'm adding tags to, I will use the price tagging gun. But anyways, that is it, I do believe. So I'm going to probably crochet because otherwise it's just price tagging items, like I said. And I don't really feel like starting that today, so I'll probably start that tomorrow. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's now the next day. I went to Walmart and I got a different jar. This is a two gallon glass jar. I didn't really want a glass one, but that's all Walmart had and online and everything. I haven't been able to find a plastic one that was bigger. And the one gallon one that I had that I mentioned to you yesterday, I was going to try to fix. The putting the boiling water on it just made it shrink up more and it's not even usable at this point. So, Anyways, this is the jar that I have now for the pickle jar, and I'm going to go ahead and cut out this sign and put it on there for my pickles, of course. And I think I'll put some pickles in it just so you can get the idea of how it's going to look on market day, of course. But we are three days until the market now. So after this, I've got editing to do because I want to make sure Friday's video is done because the first day of the market is Friday. And then I will be um probably price tagging items but we'll see now this sign definitely looks small compared to this jar because i originally made it for the gallon jar instead of the two gallon one but that's okay but i'm gonna go ahead and put some pickles in it so we can get an idea of what it's gonna look like i could probably fit even one more in the center Maybe a second one on the side, but this is just five for reference of what it'll look like. My computer's running over here in the background, so don't mind how loud it is, but I figured I would show you guys. I just got these little string lights as well. So here's what the package looked like that was on this, and it is 16 feet of light, and it's just small little lights, but... Anyways, I did put the batteries in it just to make sure it was working. And as you can see, it is. And there's quite a few different options. And this event does go till 10 p.m. on both days. So that's why I got those. And my plan is to just kind of string them around the tent. Because um, I'm not sure how bright it's actually going to be at the event. So anyways, I can link these in the description below for you guys, as well as the pickle jar, of course, because they're from Walmart, so they should have it available online as well. Um, but yeah, just figured I would show you that, because I also got that. This was like $5.99, and the pickle jar was like $14, I think. So not bad at all, at least I think. So yeah, there's that, and I'm gonna do some price tagging of my items right now while my computer's loading up because I do need to edit but it's taking forever to load up so I'm going to take this time to do some price tagging. So I think I mentioned it to you guys the other day but I did get a price tagging gun that I'm going to be using from now on as long as it works well because I feel like it'll be a lot more time efficient than using scraps of yarn like I've been doing. And yeah, so I'll let you guys know how this works and if it works well and everything, but I've got to figure it out first. <laughs> okay, after a long time of messing around with this price tag again, I finally have the hang of it, I think. So here's the first item with the tag. So now I'm going to continue on to all the others.
so the last thing I'm gonna be doing for today is packing up my mystery bags that are of course for this market and then really tomorrow the only thing I have to do is count up my inventory to make sure that I have it all correct in my square and then I have to film the breakdown and stuff that I normally do tomorrow but then that'll be it because Tomorrow is setup day, so you guys will also see footage from that. I have a doctor's appointment at one o'clock, and then right after that, I'm gonna come back home. My mom also has a different doctor's appointment around the same time, so we're both gonna meet back here. And then we're going to load up her car, cause her car fits the stuff better than mine, and take the stuff to the event location. And we're going to go ahead and set up what we can that can stay there overnight, of course, and then the next day will be the first day of the event. But anyways, with all that being said though, this is going to be the last thing I'm doing for today. As far as market prep is just putting the items in the mystery bags. Hi you guys, so I had a doctor's appointment, so I got my flu shot, so don't mind the band-aid. Um, but it is the day that we are setting up for the market, which is day before the market. Bruno's in here with me, so you can hear his little tippy tappies on the floor walking around. But um, last night I did a bunch of inventory organization. Didn't film it because it was after I showered and I was in my nightgown and everything, so I was not gonna film like that. <laughs> but. Um, I did find some more inventory a little bit ago, uh, right before I left for my appointment actually. So I was looking for some of my price tag bins because I had some missing and then I found more inventory in those bins. So a few of those items need to have price tags that don't have price tags and then a few of them need to just go in with other inventory. So I did update my square for everything but what is in those bins. Plus I filmed everything I crocheted in September so far, um, which you guys have probably seen before this video. But anyways, I filmed the first half of everything I crocheted in September and I have all that here that needs to be organized into the inventory as well. So I'm gonna do all of that and then shortly my mom will be home because she called and said she's on the way and then we'll go set up, well, we'll pack up her car, then go set up the stuff. I'm not bringing my inventory or displays yet. I'm just bringing tables, tent, things that could stay overnight, of course.
Okay, here's a look at the final inventory. So the eggs that go in the frying pan are just left over there on their own, as well as the bees that go in the honeycomb, and the fish that go in the fish tank, because they don't have little bins. But the things that go in little bins are now in their bins, which I severely underestimated the amount of octos and whales I have, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, here's everything. And for things like the opossums, the chicken nuggets, and the goats that don't fit super well in their bins, I will only have a few out at a time and then keep the spares in the bin under the table so I can restock. But yeah, you get the idea. I just have everything where it's supposed to be so I can do final count, make sure everything's correct, and then film the breakdown video tonight once we're back home from setting up and put everything into the bags for tomorrow. Okay, it's very bright out here, but we're about to load up my mom's car because it is almost time for us to go. After I take her stuff out. <laughs> I didn't realize What's it. Hi. hi everybody! We're here, we're about to set up just the tent and tables and stuff. Um, and it's raining a little tiny bit, so we have a little cover thing here at least, and a tent, so that'll be nice. And a photo. <laughs> and this thing that hopefully they're gonna move at some point. <laughs> okay, there's lots of heavy machinery going on, um, but the tent, is up and we do have this pole in the way but i think tomorrow we'll be able to shift more that way once the event's actually like started and before we fully set up so we shouldn't have that pole in the way after that but for now this is just the rough setup before everything is moved out of the way um so yeah now we're gonna do tables and that's it because that's all we brought <laughs> Okay, so here's the setup. Like I said, hopefully we'll move this way or this way a little more tomorrow so that this pole won't be in the way. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like the Z formation that I've been thinking about doing, plus an extra table. Um, and we'll see what I end up doing as far as displays. I'm not 100% sure what's gonna go where, but I will figure it out, of course. But yeah, here's what it looks like and uh, the coordinator team we were just talking to her mentioned since this is undercover if we wanted to we could always bring the tent out this way and then this part is still undercover so we'll see we might end up doing that tomorrow but that's all for now we're about to go get dinner and then head home and be here tomorrow around two o'clock to set up hi you guys so i've been home for a while now um we had dinner and i decided to have a milkshake and should not have done that because my stomach hurt really bad so I took like an hour or two just to lay in bed on my phone. But now I'm back. Well, I did actually also import footage that was on this SD card so I couldn't film at the moment. Um, and I edited that footage because it's for the video I'm about to schedule to go live tomorrow because today's a Thursday. Um, but anyways, 
I'm going to put price tags on the last few items. These are the items that I found today that I didn't realize that I had. But I realized I had them and I knew they were missing, but I couldn't find them. So I wasn't worried about it until I found them. So now I'm gonna put price tags on those items. And then I'm going to, well, actually I did already add them to my square earlier today. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and film my breakdown video that you guys will see right after this video. Um, of course, I have to film it before the market and the market is tomorrow. So yeah, then other than that, I'm gonna be packing everything up. Not in the car yet. Tomorrow I'll be packing things in the car, but we don't have to go until two because the event doesn't start until four tomorrow. It's four to 10 tomorrow and then 10 to 10 the next day. So I'm not gonna pack it in the car yet because it's very mosquito-y outside at this house. Once it gets dark, even in the daytime, it's honestly mosquito-y. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm going to wait on putting anything in the car until tomorrow once it's daylight, so it'll at least be a little less mosquito-y outside, which I know mosquito-y is not a word, but there's a lot of mosquitoes outside. You know what I mean. <laughs> but anyways, right now I'm just putting price tags on those last few items while I am going to upload my video. And then I'm gonna film, pack everything up, and go to bed pretty much so that I can be ready for tomorrow. Okay, so I did all my price tagging and now I have Square up on my iPad and I have it all updated for everything other than a few items. Like I have my claw machine and keychain items over there that I need to go count up and add to the square inventory or just make sure the numbers are correct they may or may not be correct i'm not sure it's been a while since i brought those to market specifically because the small markets i was doing as you guys know were just a one table setup over the summer so i've been not bringing the keychains or the claw machine stuff so i need to make sure those are right but then after that everything in my square should be correct and what i'm doing now is just loading up a google sheet doc that i'm going to start for all of my inventory in this market i try to do this for every market but i don't normally get around to it unfortunately but i'm gonna do it for this market because i'm really interested to know how much i have in inventory versus how much of that inventory i actually end up selling at one event so yeah i'm gonna do my best to calculate all of that as well because yes, I can keep track of all of it on Square, but it doesn't give me a total of like inventory money-wise. It gives me a total for each item. Like, okay, you have three of these in stock, but it doesn't tell me everything cohesively how much that would be. So the way I do that is making a spreadsheet for everything. But like I said, I haven't done that for markets in a while. But I want to get back into it. That's my goal for this season is to do that for every single market so that I have an idea of how much I have in inventory and how that compares to how much actually sells. So anyways, I'm rambling too much, but I'm going to get started on that while my video is still exporting at the same time. Okay, so I can't remember if I showed you guys this the other day, but this is my bin of stickers. I have these as three for a dollar, which I don't know how many stickers I exactly have. So I don't have like an exact number of these but they're three for a dollar so everything in my inventory minus those stickers because of course i don't know how many i have if i were to sell out of everything again minus the stickers i would make three thousand eight hundred twenty one dollars at this event and have a total number again of crocheted items 182 crocheted items, which I honestly kind of thought I had more, but actually I do need to check. I think I have two squid, but it could be three. So if I find a third one in my inventory stash, then it'll go up by $15, which I'll tell you if it does. But if not, then yes, it is 100. 82 items and 
$821 worth of inventory for this event. So now that it's 11.40, I'm gonna go and actually film. Hi you guys, so it is now the first day of the market and it is 12.37. I didn't ever update anything for this vlog last night, but I will tell you guys that I found one more squid. Um, so that's 15 extra dollars to my inventory. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get packed up because we need to leave here, not any specific time, but soon-ish. So I'm gonna pack my crochet bag so that I can do some crocheting while I'm there. If I have downtime, we'll see. Um, and I also need to make sure I have my camera and tripod and all those things as well from up here in the yarn room and then everything else I brought downstairs last night. Not all the way downstairs, but I brought down one set of stairs and then I'm going to bring them down the next set of stairs and into the car this morning. Well, it's not morning, but you know what I mean. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pack this so that I can do some crocheting. We're in the Burger King drive through to get some lunch, I guess. It's 1.30, so a late lunch um, before we get there because it is a barbecue competition, but I don't think they're going to cook until later on. So we obviously want to get food now. And the car is packed, as you can see, fully loaded. And uh, yeah, we're going to eat and then head there. At this market, I didn't end up doing a great job at recording myself as far as the setting up and taking down because I swear every time I went to set up and take down, 
I had a person there talking to me the whole time, like a stranger, which is fine, but then that means I didn't want to record and randomly like record a person that didn't know they were being recorded. So because of that, I don't have too much footage of that and I apologize. I normally like to try to show you guys the full process of setting up and everything, but I just wasn't able to get that this time. We're all set up now and it's raining, but we have about an hour or so until it starts. So yeah, hopefully the rain dies down and it's making things cooler right now at least. But here's the setup. So it's officially started, it's 5.18 and I knew uh, from the event coordinator that there was a guy that wanted to pick up an elephant from me so she said to make sure I had an elephant for him. So he just came and bought that for 25 and that was the first sale so far. Okay, it's 6.30 and I finally had a few more sales. I sold two angry chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna go down here and get my bag to restock. Okay, so here's what the setup is looking like. And we have about an hour left, but we may pack up early because our vendor neighbors just packed up. And there isn't too much traffic today. The main thing today is just like the people coming to cook and they had a kids competition today and stuff. But the main events are actually tomorrow. So anyways though, I have sold a little over $200 worth of stuff. Okay, it's 9.13 and I am taking plushies down while my mom goes and gets the car.
Hi you guys, so I'm home now and it is 10.55. I let the camera charge for a little bit. Um, and I'm just here to update you now that we're home, obviously. Um, and the camera died like right as I was showing you that we had finished taking stuff down and everything. Um, so the last clip you saw was how everything looks currently um, and how we are leaving it overnight. And then tomorrow we'll be putting everything back how it was or at least similar to how it was for day two, which is 10 to 10. So I'm about to take off my makeup and go to bed. And then we're waking up at seven tomorrow so we can get ready to leave and get there around nine or so to set up and be ready for 10 because tomorrow was 10 to 10. So today was pretty successful. I at least made my vendor fee back, which I paid $150 to be set up there, which it goes to charity, so I don't mind too much, but of course I want to at least make my fee back. Um, I think I made about $300, but I can go on Square to tell you. You guys will see in the full breakdown, I'll let you know like what sold on day one and then what sold day two. Um, but just as an idea, I sold $271 worth of items um, today. And tomorrow is supposed to be the big day where like all the things are happening. Today was a kids barbecue competition and like a few other small things. Um, but tomorrow is the full like barbecue competition where you can go around and like sample everybody's barbecue. Um, and like big activities, comedy show, and like all kinds of things are happening tomorrow. So I have higher hopes for tomorrow, but I did already at least make my vendor fee back, so I can't complain. But I am excited to see how things go tomorrow. This will be probably the longest event. Well, I know it is for sure the longest event I've done to date, as far as like how long I'll be there for a full day. And it probably is one of the longest events I'll ever do because typically for pop-up markets and stuff, as most of you probably know, it's like five or six hours tops maybe. The one I'm used to is nine to two and it's even being changed from nine to one this year. So it's a lot longer of a day for this event, obviously. But anyways, okay, I'm chatting too much. I'm gonna go put my camera on charge so the battery can be fully charged for tomorrow. And I am fully charging two portable chargers as well. So since tomorrow's a longer day, if my camera battery does get drained quickly like it ended up doing today, then I can at least update you guys more often and charge the camera in between. So yeah, that is all. And I will talk to you in the morning, but once I am ready, and maybe even in the car, I don't know, we'll see, but I'll talk to you at some point tomorrow for day two. All right, I'm not driving, don't worry. My mom's driving, <laughs> but um, we're loaded up. Didn't really take anything out of the car last night other than like the cooler and stuff and refilled it. Um, but it's almost 8.30 and we are on the way to get set up for starting at 10 o'clock, 10 to 10 today.
here is the setup. My camera kept shutting off because it was overheating already this morning. But here's the setup for day two. And we have a few minutes, like 20 minutes, until it officially starts. I'm making a pumpkin now. And we're hanging out here in front of the fan. We've had about 50 bucks worth of sales, and it's about 45 minutes in. Yarn on. Yarn on. Because my dad isn't here to say it, so we have to say it. Yeah. <laughs> sold a handful more items so I'm gonna do some rearranging and fixing up. It's a little bit past noon now and I am having some root beer from the Wild Bill's Old Fashioned Soda Pop Co. Their truck is right across from us. Um, and I've had a few more sales since we talked last. Um, and I did some rearranging, which I recorded, so I assume you guys saw that right before. Um, and I've made two pumpkins today so far, which will go for my future markets because the ones coming up are Halloween and fall ones. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy this and probably start another pumpkin. I just tried the barbecue for the competitors and voted, and oh my goodness, all of it was so good, but I'm very full now. Um, and my dad just got here as well to see us for a little bit. Um, so he's over there trying it as well. Um, and I've had a few more sales, but not too much, but um, of course I'll continue to keep you updated. 1.30 check-in. Here's what things are looking like. I sold both my cows that were like this. Y'all, it is hot. It's 207 now. It is 93 degrees. But starting at 4 all the way until 8, there's a 10% rain chance. And as much as I don't want it to rain, because people will obviously get wet, it would be nice if it rained a tiny bit just to cool off the weather for the rest of the night. But if it doesn't, it's okay. We'll still be here. Um, but. Anyways, I've sold a few things on and off and also just been hanging out. I should probably do some more crocheting, but I just haven't felt like it because I feel so sticky and sweaty. Um, but anyways, um, I'll keep you guys posted, of course.
Okay, I just sold out of $20 mystery bags that were on the table, and I have one more left that's under the table, so I'm putting that up. So if that $20 mystery bag sells, then I'll be out of $20 ones, but I do still have both $25 ones left. I've also been working on another pumpkin that I've just got to sew on the stem and the leaf, and then it's done, and that'll be three pumpkins done. And then I've got to work on other stuff because I don't have any more eyes that are this size. They're at home, but not here. Um, but anyways, it's 3.05 now, so it's really hot. <laughs> anyways, we're making it through. I'm going to turn my fan back on. <laughs> it's 3.12 and the fan battery just died, which this battery lasts a long time because we've had it on basically all day but we have a second one thankfully so I'm gonna put that on and hope it can last us for the rest of the day so I'm gonna put my camera on charge for a little bit because it's running low Okay, we're packing up early because other people are packing up and it's just extremely hot, so it's 4.35. Um, and the overview I just showed you is the final overview because we're packing up now. Okay, we are on the way home and it is 5.36, car is fully loaded. And this will probably be one of the last clips you see in this video because the mark is done. But the next video will be the breakdown, so make sure you tune into that to see everything that's sold and how it went and everything. Don't mind the noises, it's fine, it might just impale us, but it's fine. <laughs> but, um, Anyways, next video will be the breakdown and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog of the event. Yarn on everybody! <laughs> bye bye. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the prep I did for this market and the vlog for the two days of the market. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was that I had at this market. I think my favorite was the chicken nuggets personally. I'd love to hear that from you guys. And I'd also just love to know what you think in general of my displays. If you have any markets coming up yourself, 
all of that kind of stuff i would love to hear from you guys and if you guys want to make sure you don't miss out on friday's video that is going to be that breakdown as well as all of my other videos because i have lots of other records coming up as well make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time i upload a brand new video and if you guys do want to see more from me of course you can check out more videos of mine my blog my etsy shop my revler shop all of my social media is my second channel all of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys and for today's video, like I mentioned, you can find the links below for all of the market items that I bring to markets linked on that one Google Doc for you. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye.